Now to the latest on the coronavirus in our state. Roman Catholics will be welcomed back to their parishes for Sunday Mass today. Weekend services resumed yesterday with Saturday vigils around the state. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live from the Cathedral of St. Joseph in Hartford to tell us what is being done to keep people safe there. Carolina. Good morning, Caitlin. Well, this is the Mother Church of the Archdiocese of Hartford, so we can hold a lot of people, but with social distancing, they are limiting capacity inside. And those who do get to attend today, while well, they're being asked to bring a face mask and to wear it throughout the service, except for a moment during the communion, and bring hand sanitizer. Parishes are going to try to provide their own, but it's just best if you bring your own, that way you know that you have it. And when it comes to capacity in churches across our state, space is limited to 100 people indoors or 25% of the capacity of that church. If you haven't been to Mass and you plan on returning today, you'll, you're going to notice some changes intended to keep the congregation safe and healthy. There won't be any holy water in the fonts and books or bulletins in the pews. Families who live together can sit together, but they need a space out from others. And churches are only going to be seating every other pew. The sign of the peace and holding hands during the Our Father are suspended for now. The congregation is asked to not sing along during the service. Those who are elderly, feeling sick, or care for someone who is sick or homebound or have pre-existing conditions are strongly advised to stay home and tune into the service online. And for families who still feel uncomfortable or maybe a little weary about attending services with people, um, you can opt to not attend. The obligation was dispensed by the Archbishop here, basically waived through September to where you don't, are not obligated to attend uh, the Sunday services. Reporting in Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.